Hey guys, welcome to my channel and thank you so much for stopping by. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to share with you this Indian or South Asian bridal engagement or wedding guest makeup tutorial. For that, I have created this black and tail green shimmery hello eye look and paired it with a dark red lipstick. Before starting, if you are new here, then hi, I am Nita. I upload makeup, skincare and beauty related videos almost every alternative day. Please take a moment to subscribe. For that, go to your YouTube app and press that red subscribe button. Also, press the bell icon next to it so that you get notification whenever I upload a new video. And it is absolutely free. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. As always, I'm starting with my brows first. For that, I'm taking this NYX Tame and Fame eyebrow pomade in the shade black and I'm just drawing the borders of my brows first then I'll be filling them up using smaller strokes now with a spoolie I'm just combing my brows so that the product is well saturated now I'm taking this Maybelline AG Wind concealer in 20 and I'm just cleaning up the borders of my brows so that my brows look well shaped and defined I am also applying the same concealer on my eyelids to prime them for eyeshadows that is coming up next. Now I am just blending it out using a damp beauty sponge from Studio 35. Now I am taking this Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in the shade 15 Light and I am just setting the concealer before it starts to crease and move around. For my eyes, first I am taking this warm brown shade from my Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette and I am just applying it as my transition color. For that, I am using a fluffier blending brush from Puna Store. This is a very nice warm tone brown color and a perfect transition color for people with medium skin tone. I am taking this particular shade which is a dark brown color and I'm just applying it on my outer V area and on my inner corners and then I'll be connecting them through my crease. Basically, I'm creating a halo effect here. Now I'm just blending it out using a clean blending brush. Don't worry if it is looking a bit harsh right now, it will all be perfect at the end. Now I'm taking this uh, dark matte black shade from the same palette and i'm just repeating the previous step here that means i'm applying it on my outer v area on my inner corners and i'm just connecting them through my crease now i'm taking this particular brown shade it is again a warm brown color and I'm just diffusing the borders of that black eyeshadow so that there is a nice and smooth gradient effect I'm just wetting my brush with my makeup setting spray and I'm just taking this gorgeous sea green or teal shimmery color and I'm just applying it all over on my eyelid And at the same time, I'm blending it out with the black eyeshadow. Now I'm taking this Milani Hypnotic Lights Eye Topper in the shade uh, 05 and I'm just applying it on top of that green eyeshadow. All the products and their shades will be mentioned in the description bar below, so please go ahead and check that out. Now I'm taking this NYX eyeliner and i'm just creating a nice wing here now there is a reason why i have chosen this particular eyeliner it glides on smoothly on top of any glitter or shimmer and there is, there will be no pulling or tugging or anything like that so it is perfect if you are using glitter on your eyelids Before continuing with my eye makeup further, I'm going to finish my base then I will return to my eye makeup again. For that, I'm taking this Flower Beauty Illuminating Primer and I'm just applying it all over on my face and neck. I already moisturized my face about half an hour ago. I just love this primer. It gives your face a nice luminosity. At the same time, it blurs out your imperfections and makes your makeup long lasting. For color correcting, I'm mixing this Elegirl 
pro conceal characters in peach and orange in equal quantity and i'm just applying it around my mouth and underneath my eyes to cancel out all those darkness now again i'm just blending it out using the same sponge from studio 35 it is a bridal or engagement makeup so full coverage foundation is must for that i'm taking this maybelline super step foundation in 220 and i'm just buffing it in using my real techniques beauty sponge this foundation is my all-time favorite foundation it gives you a very very full coverage and it still looks natural on my skin For highlighting and concealing, I'm using the same Age Rewind Concealer and I'm just highlighting the usual places and you know that will right? I underneath my eyes, center of my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, keep it both, chin and just under here I'm going to place my contour next. Now I'm again blending everything using the same damp beauty sponge. As I always say blending out your highlighting concealer is really really important otherwise it looks like a straight white mark and it does not look good. Now I'm just setting my under eyes, smile lines, basically I'm setting my entire makeup using the same loose powder. And the brush that I'm using it is from e.l.f. Now I'm applying a lot of loose powder underneath my eyes. If I get any fallouts due to the eyeshadows, it will help to catch that fallout and I can dust it off later without spoiling my base. Now I'm just tight lining my eyes using this Jordana Easy Liner in Jet Black. I'm taking the same matte black eyeshadow from the same palette and I'm just smudging out my entire lower lash line. And for that I'm using an angled brush from Puna Store. And I'm taking this shimmery teal color and I'm applying it on the center of my lower lash line. I'm just curling my natural lashes with this Vega eyelash curler and I'm coating my lashes with this Maybelline Colossal Volume Express Mascara. And I'm taking this Ofra Cosmetics highlighter in rodeo drive and i'm just highlighting my brow bones as well as my inner corners i'm going to use false lashes off camera for that i'm using these kiss eyelashes in the style bustier and here is the final eye look please let me know your thoughts about this look in the comment section down below now i'm taking this Wet and Wild Mega Glow Contour Palette in this shade Caramel Toffee and I'm just carving out the parameters of my face like the hollows of my cheeks, chin, forehead, jawline and my nose. Now I'm taking this Flower Beauty Flower of What blush in the shade Wild Rose and I'm just applying it on my cheeks using this blush brush from Wet and Wild. Now I'm highlighting the high points of my face using the same Rodeo Drive highlighter and for that I'm using a highlighter brush from Real Techniques. And I'm just hitting the high points of my face like my cheekbones, chin, cupid bow down the bridge of my nose and the sides of my forehead. Now I'm setting my entire makeup with this Flower Beauty Still The Deal Hydrating Setting Spray. For my lipstick, I'm taking this L'Oreal Infallible Lipstick in this shade Madison I believe and this is a stunning red color and green and red always complement each other so I have chosen a dark red lipstick here. And here is the final look. Please let me know your thoughts about this look and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
as well as i enjoyed making it for you if you did then please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel also please share this video with your friends and family it will mean a lot to me if you are not following me on facebook instagram and twitter please do follow me there all the links will be given in the description bar down below so please go ahead and check that out so yeah see you soon in my next one till then bye and take care